Hello, my loop friend. Welcome back to Live Loopers. Today we are talking about making loop music on the iPad. Loopy Pro is letting me make all this awesome, wonderful music and audio units. The audio units that it allows you to just easily plug right in. Some of them are incredible. At the time Loopy Pro was released, which is not that long ago, I had never used a single audio unit before, if I'm being completely honest. I didn't even really know what one was. So it's been kind of like all day or day trying to play catch up and figure out what's what in the world of audio units. With that in mind, please be forgiving if I say something ignorant. And please, uh, yes, this is a video where I am telling you which audio units I found, why I use what I use, but also, I am hoping that this is opening up a discussion and you will tell me what you use in the comments because I know there is a ton of stuff that I don't use only because I just don't know that it exists yet. Right off the bat I can tell you three main reasons why I use what I use and the number one reason which overshadows all other reasons by quite a bit is uh, price. Price points uh, really determine what I can do because uh, my spaceship is made out of tape. Uh, criteria number two is uh, the sound. Uh, I like audio units that can allow me to make my own unique sound. And criteria three that I have found in recent weeks is uh, just please don't crash a lot. Like thing, if it just if it crashes too much, I just can't even. I can't. I can't. Just can't. So let's get into it. First audio unit I want to tell you about is Sunriser Synthesizer. It is about ten dollars on the App Store right now, I do believe, and it is rock solid. I don't know. I mean, I just there's barely ever been any crashing involved with Sunriser Synth. But the main reason why I started using it and use it so heavily is that when I first started and I had no audio units at all. Uh, Except I had Sunriser because I had the old version of Sunriser and it just worked as an AUV3 with no additional, nothing else to download, nothing else to change. You know, all the old sounds that I had on my old setup that I had worked for hours to, you know, get tweak my sounds just right. Sunriser just let me use them and bring them into my new Loopy Pro experience and I'm grateful for that and I love it. And so Sunriser Synth gets used a lot. Second audio unit that I'm going to talk about is Koala Sampler. A lot of people are very high on Koala Sampler. They just, you know, rave reviews about it in lots of places. Me, I'm kind of, I don't know about this thing. Uh, I am listing it here as number two just because I am encouraged about the possible future with it. Um, without a question, it is a great sampler and it is very convenient to be able to just go around the house and just make samples right on my iPad and not have to like record them into one thing and put them on my computer and, you know, just being able to do it right there on the iPad is handy. Um, if you're trying to make some drum kits, it's it's awesome for that. And even when I'm trying to make a digital instrument uh, that I can play, I mean, Koala will let you do that. Um, so a couple of things that uh, had me kind of on the fence and possibly contemplating just not mentioning this at all is that uh, Koala Sampler, like the price structure, is uh, the kind of price structure that gets under my skin where it's like, hey, it's five bucks to get Koala Sampler and then you get Koala Sampler and it's like, hey, it's five more bucks to get the AUV3 and you know, and you're like, yeah, you didn't say that. And then it's, uh, and then the AUV3 I found out, you know, crashed on me and it was crashing on me quite a bit. And I was like, I know you didn't just uh, get, you know, just take my $5 for something that I can't even make it work. Um, but I think that I am finding that maybe I was just uh, um, 
trying to load too many instances of Koala Sampler at the same time, and I think maybe I'm trying to, I'm just in the process of figuring this out now, and I am trying to just, uh, you know, put in a single instance of Koala Sampler and make myself one digital instrument with a unique, fun sound that I make with my own voice or something, and uh, play it as an instrument. Uh, so far, so good. So, I am encouraged about what can happen in the future with Koala Sampler, since, as I said, it is a really cool sampler. Third audio unit that I would like to mention is Beathawk. When I was experiencing some crashing with Koala Sampler, I was trying to just save a sample in Koala and then load it into something else and use because Beathawk has a really nice and very easy to use feature for making your own digital instrument out of a sample. And you can play it up and down the whole keyboard, and I like it. Uh, but also, Beathawk, um, in, addition, in addition to being affordable and pretty stable, uh, it also has a lot of sounds in it already that are good sounds. So, uh, yeah, Beathawk definitely gets a recommendation, a thumbs up from me. I interrupt this program to tell you the good word about Numa Player. Oh my goodness, just discovered this yesterday. Uh, so far it has been very stable, I have not had any crashes, and what I love is just, it's so simple. It's just, I mean, I have these buttons that let you play multiple instrument voices uh, in Loopy Pro um, by turning on multiple instruments. Noom Player just already has that in there. It has like four different types of keyboard sounds. You can choose within the four and you can play them at the same time simultaneously just in one audio unit. And beyond that, it even has all these awesome effects so you can really twist your sound, get weird. I mean, you can't argue with the price. I just, I think it's, it's the bee's knees. And I have been having a darn good time uh, since I discovered Numa Player. <laughs> and number next plus one is uh, one that I've mentioned here in my previous videos about the te free templates that uh, we're offering on LiveLoopers.com is World Synth. And uh, World Synth is good. It's stable. It's affordable. Uh, given that the I mean, you can download the app for free, and the presets that come with it are nice. Uh, any of these apps, you know, that the, they have a free download, they usually have some in-app purchases, and, you know, that will allow you to get even more awesome sounds for a low price, and that is a great way to uh, show your appreciation for people making these audio units for us, you know, so I highly encourage people to... Buy some and try some. So if you want it, it's out there. Uh, do what you want. But I'm saying some awesome free sounds available for your Loopy Pro. Get it. I'm also going to pop this fine selection of synth apps, audio units on the screen. I find all of them to be affordable, relatively stable, and uh, have some good sounds in them and way back in the olden days loopy hd back before uh, ios 11 uh, i had an app that was called wi orchestra that had all kinds of awesome sampled orchestra instruments and i miss those so much oh hurts my heart uh, i have been looking for nice uh, sampled instruments that i can play on my keyboard controller uh, I have found this one thing, which is all right. Uh, I am always on the lookout for more if you know where I should be looking. As I said in the beginning, I am very, very interested in learning what audio units you are using and why. Uh, please, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, if it helped you at all, please leave a like. Uh, feel free to share it with some friends. If I get a lot of good suggestions and good advice and good leads, uh, I would definitely love to do a follow-up video to this at some point in the future. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. And loop on!